let me discuss about the national cholesterol education program and as well as the ATP 3 guidelines ATP stands for the adult treatment panel 3 guidelines now according to this particular guidelines let me tell you the classification of the LDL total and the HDL cholesterol levels in milligram per deciliter and remember you have to determine this particular lipoprotein levels after 9 to 12 hours fast so first let me take up the LDL cholesterol levels LDL cholesterol levels the optimum levels are less than 100 and if the levels are 100 to 129 then we call it as the near optimal or above optimal levels and if the levels are in between 130 to 159 then we consider them as the borderline high and if the levels are 160 to 189 then we consider them as high but if the levels are more than 190 then we consider that as very high so this is the levels about the LDL lipoprotein levels now according to ATP3 guidelines let me tell you what will be the total cholesterol levels less than 200 that is desirable 200 to 239 they are borderline high when the levels of cholesterol is more than 240 then it is considered to be high that is about the total cholesterol now let me tell you the HDL cholesterol HDL cholesterol less than 40 it is low more than 60 it is high which is a good cholesterol so this is the classification of the LDL total cholesterol and HDL cholesterol according to ATP 3 guidelines all right next now later I will tell you how to identify the presence of the clinical atherosclerotic disease that confers the high risk for the coronary artery disease events right so what I am trying to tell you I am trying to tell you the risk factors associated with the coronary artery disease number one clinical coronary artery disease as such that is the individual is having chest pain which is on increasing on exertion and decreasing on taking rest number two the presence of symptomatic coronary artery disease number three presence of peripheral arterial disease number four presence of abdominal aortic aneurysm so these are the risk factors for atherosclerosis which are indirectly the risk factors for the coronary artery disease next let me tell you how to determine the presence of the major risk factors right let me tell you the determination of the presence of the major risk factors so if you take the major risk factors for coronary artery disease or that modify the LDL goals so remember the major risk factors are number one cigarette smoking number two hypertension or the individual already on antihypertensive medication the third major risk factor is the presence of HDL levels less than 40 milligrams per deciliter next presence of family history of a premature coronary heart disease next age of the individual men more than 45 years women more than or equal to 55 years they are considered as the major risk factors for the coronary artery disease now remember when HDL cholesterol levels if they are more than or equal to 60 milligram per deciliter that accounts for a negative risk factor all right so in an individual if the HDL levels are more than 60 then we have to subtract one of the other risk factor what is there within the individual now remember in ATP 3 
डायबिटीज इज रिगार्डेड एज द कॉर्नरी हार्ट डिजीज इक्वलेंट राइट इन एटीपी थ्री द डायबिटीज इज रिगार्डेड एज कॉर्नरि हार्ट डिजीज रिस्क इक्वलेंट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू एटीपी थ्री गाइडलाइंस लेट मी टेल यू एट विच लेवल्स ऑफ एल डी एल यू हैव टू इनिशिएट द लाइफ स्टाइल एट विच लेवल्स ऑफ एल डी एल यू हैव टू इनिशिएट द ड्रग थेरेपी नाउ द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ एंटी हाइपरलिपिडेमिक ड्रग्स कंप्लीटली डिपेंड्स अपॉन द रिस्क कैटेगरी ऑफ द पेशेंट नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द इंडिविजुअल इज हैविंग द कॉर्नरी हार्ट डिजीज और द कॉर्नरी हार्ट डिजीज रिस्क इक्वेलेंट दट इज डायबिटीज द एलडीएल गोल फॉर दैट पेशेंट इज लेस देन हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम्स पर डेसिलीटर एंड रिमेंबर इफ द लेवल्स ऑफ एलडीएल इज मोर देन हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम पर डेसिलीटर इन दिस कैटेगरी he should be initiated therapeutic lifestyle changes but whereas when to start the drug therapy in this category if the cholesterol levels are more than 130 mg per deciliter this is the point when you have to initiate the drug therapy in this particular group of patient if he is having cholesterol more than 130 mg per deciliter next coming to the second category if the individual is having two or more than two risk factors then the goal should be less than 130 mg per deciliter and therapeutic lifestyle changes has to be started if the ldl levels are more than 130 mg per deciliter and the therapeutic effect or the drug therapy has to be started once the individual is having the ldl levels more than 160 mg per deciliter that is in this particular category of that group of individuals where there are two risk factors whereas if the individual is having 0 to 1 risk factor the goal of the ldl is less than 160 and you have to start the therapeutic lifestyle changes or lifestyle changes if the ldl cholesterol is more than 160 mg per deciliter and the individual has to be started on drug therapy if the ldl cholesterol is more than 190 mg per deciliter so these are the cut off points and the points at which you have to start the anti hyperlipidemic therapy